good morning beautiful people good morning people mas tama pa na yun people lang okay tumakbo dandan lang let's continue fruits okay na tayo sa kinds Let's now have who will have the right over the fruits. So the topic is right over the fruits and not ownership over the fruits. Ibang karapatan, ibang pag-aari. Correct. Sabi ng 1164, the creditor shall have the right to the fruits. Sabi naman ng 1187, in case of unilateral obligation, the debtor will have the right to the fruits. Okay? Kung unilateral. If unilateral. At kung sakali naman daw na reciprocal, yan daw ay mutually compensated. If reciprocal. Dito muna tayo sa debtor at creditor na parang may conflict pero actually wala. Kasi may kadugtong naman yung 1164. The creditor shall have the right to the fruits only from the time the obligation to deliver arises. So it is imperative for us to know when will the obligation to deliver arise. Because before that period, the debtor will have the right to the fruits. And bear in mind, our topic will be only fruits of a determinate thing. If the object of the contract is indeterminate, forget 1164. It applies only to the object being determined. At sa tanong na kailan nag-aarise, i-check mo lang anong klaseng obligation meron. If the obligation is with suspensive condition from the time the condition is fulfilled, obligation to deliver will arise. If it is subject to a suspensive period from the time the period arrives. If there is no condition, then it is pure or simple obligation. The right to the period, uh, the obligation to deliver will arise immediately from the perfection of the contract. And to understand, we will have the illustration. Today is November 21, 2016. By breach of a contract, A obliges herself to give to B her only dog. If B will pass the October, ah, the May na lang. Will pass the May 2017 CPA board exam. So this is an obligation with a suspensive condition. Another obligation is to see where A will give her only horse on June 12, 2017. An obligation with A, suspensive period. Another is to D, where A will give to D her only cut. 
there is no condition, there is no period, therefore pure or simple. And because there is a condition, there must first be fulfillment of the condition. Because if there is no fulfillment of the condition, then there is no obligation. So we will now assume that B passed the board. And the results were released, let's say, May 30, 2017. Today, does we have the right to demand the delivery of the dog? Wala. Bakit wala pa siyang karapatan? Hindi pa na fulfill ang condition. So, si Aiba may obligation to deliver? Wala. Maliwanag? So, walang magiging right si B sa fruits yet. Kasi wala pang obligation to deliver. <clears throat> The following day, November 22, A was not able to properly close the door of her house. And the gate was also left open. The dog took advantage of this. It went out. Almost one hour later, A noticed that her dog is missing. So she went out and looks for her dog. Fortunately, she finds the dog later. Then with another dog. The two dogs appear not to be in good terms. They were then facing opposite directions. So he decided to get her dog. But as she pulls her dog, she noticed that the other dog is following backwards. It turned out the two dogs were then engaged in Premarital sex. <laughs> if you are a, what will you do? Will you let the two dogs finish what they are doing, or will you do something for the two dogs to be separated? Ang ganyan ba? Ha? Bat mo naman pagigibalayin sa yung gawin yan, correct no? Magagalit ka din. So he decided to just let the two dogs satisfy their thirst, and so. Later, the two dogs voluntarily separated. She brings home the dog. Weeks later, she noticed that the tummy of her dog is getting bigger, indicating pregnancy. And some weeks later, the dog gave birth to an illegitimate puppy. <laughs> Kasi hindi kasal ang magulang. Pwede marami, pwede isa. Is puppy a fruit? What kind of fruit? A natural fruit. A daya na fruit of an obligation to give a determinating who will have the right over the fruits. The creditor will have the right to the fruits if there is an only already an obligation to deliver. But if there is no obligation to deliver yet, the debtor will be enjoying the right. So it is imperative we check. On the day that this puppy was born, was there already an obligation to deliver? Kung wala pa, kay A ang karapatan. Kung meron na, kay B ang karapatan. Tandaan mo sinasabi ko, kay A or kay B ang karapatan. Hindi ko sinasabing kay A or kay B ang pagmamayari. Maliwanag. Pwedeng may karapatan ka pero wala kang pag-aari. You may have the right but you do not have the ownership. Para din fruit, iba rin ang improvement, correct? Tama? May topic na improvement. Halimbawa ikaw gumanda ka, ano yan? Impossible yan. Correct na ba? Yung improvement, gumanda yung bagay, improvement. Fruit ay yung kanyang magiging bunga. At ang fruit, inaalis sa bagay. Ang improvement, nakadikit sa bagay. So, fruit is something that is separated, that is removed from the thing. 
Improvement is something that is attached to the thing. Follow? Kaya if this puppy is born, nung ipanganak ba siya, may obligation na to deliver? Kaya kung kinanganak siya bago na-fulfill yung condition nung May 30, the right belongs to the debtor. But if this puppy was born on or after the fulfillment of the condition, May 30, the right belongs to me. Stretching the discussion further for clarity. Let's now make the assumption that the puppy was born May 30, 2017. Who enjoys right over the puppy? Ang right ay kay B. Kailan nagkaroon ng right si B? Kailan siya may right sa puppy? When the obligation to deliver arose on May 30. Palo? Kailan siya nagkaroon ng right sa dog? Kailan siya nagkaroon ng right sa dog? Nagkaroon siya ng right sa dog noong November 21. Today. The fulfillment of the suspensive condition retroacts on the day the contract was perfected. As early as today, B has the right over the dog. Can B sell the dog today? Answer. Yes, he can sell the dog today. But he cannot transfer ownership over the dog today. He does not own the dog today. He has right over the dog today because of the retroactive effect. If he sells it today, the buyer cannot compel A to give to her the dog. Follow. Because there is yet a suspensive condition to be fulfilled. Are you following? Pwede mong ibenta, pero hindi mo pwedeng ma-deliver. Correct? Hindi kailangan ikaw ang may-ari at the time of sale. So long as you can transfer ownership at the time of delivery. Lumiliwanag ba? Pangalawang linggo na eh. Natatansya ko na na magagaling kayo eh. Kaya pwede ko na ratsadahin ang ratsadahin. Ipakita mo sa akin nalilito ka, babagalan ko ulit. Pero nakikita ko, oh, natutuwa ka, di ba? Yeah. Yo ang ganda ng lo. Ay. <laughs> Ayas ah. Ayas, naiintindihan. May retroactive effect kaya na naibebenta. <clears throat> no May 30. Take the shoes of B. No May 30. Will your mind be focused in getting the dog or be focused on <coughs> informing your parents that you pass the board, your relatives, your friends. Probably B will not even be thinking of the dog, correct? Ama? Ano kaya ang paghahanda ng kanyang isipan? Ano magiging itsura niya sa old taking ceremony, correct? Ay nako nung November 14 ng of taking. Ang daming mga reviewers natin, di ko sila nakilala. They were very beautiful there. Ang gaganda nila. Sabi sa hindi mo ako namumukhaan. Bakit? Review niyo. Review niyo ka namin. Oh, iba eh, ang ganda mo. Naglapitan din yung iba. Ang gaganda niyo. Sabi sa binyang anyo mo yan, hindi pa yan ang anyo mo. Gaganda ka pa. <laughs> Kung papasa ka. Kasi magpapaganda ka sa araw na yun. Kaya yung ganda, nare-remedyohan yan. Kasi nawala bigla yung mga worries eh. Correct? Di ba yung agam-agam? Nawala eh. Kaya mula nung matapos yung board, na-release yung results. More than one month pa bago yung LOTK. Kaya meron kang more than one month to make yourself look very beautiful on that day. Oh, Niwala ka sa akin. Kapag hindi ka gumanda, kasi hindi ka pumasa. Dahil mag-worry ka na naman, di ba? Oh. 
No, paano kung di mo nakita yung pangalan mo? Siyempre, iya ka. Ano kaya mararamdaman ng magulang ko? Di ba? Pinakamahirap kasi yung bumagsak. No one prepares to fail. O, di ba? Kagaya ng preparation mo. Yung preparation is to pass. Eh. Di ba? Kaya, <clears throat> niwala ka sa akin. Gaganda ka pa. So, pinagahandaan ni B yung oath. And ordinarily, oath taking will be more than one month later. Ipagpalagay natin July 15 yun. So, anong July 15? Si B expectedly nasa PICC. Para sa kanya, oath. Noong July 15, yung possession ng dog at papi is still na kay A. Correct. Noong July 15, si Y, a friend of A, went to the house of A and saw the puppy and is attracted to the puppy. And Y wants to buy the puppy. And Y knows that A is the owner of the dog. And therefore, if you know that your friend A is the owner of the dog and that dog has a puppy, you will always think that the puppy also belongs to A. Correct? Accessory follows the principal. So why offers to buy the puppy? And at that time, A needs money. So when Y gave A 10,000, here is 10,000 for that puppy. A accepts the money and sells the puppy. So Y buys the puppy. At nagbayad na siya. And asks if she can get the puppy. And of course, A will say yes because it's more than one month already. You can just feed the puppy using milk. Tama? But when Y was about to get the puppy, the dog, the mother dog, shows anger. And Y heard the dog crying this. Try getting my puppy. You will regret it. Huh? Natapot siya. She hesitated. Of course. Why is that dog acting like that? Because you're about to get its puppy, correct? Mapagmahal ang mga hayop. You agree? You agree? Oo, wala pang hayop na nagpa-abort. Diba? No. So, sabi ni A, wait. Ilalayo ko si ito. At nilayo. So, Y gets also for the puppy. So, si Y na ang may possession ng puppy. Correct? And he acquired this, he buys the puppy in good faith. Follow? The following day, July 16, walang space dyan, masikip dito ko. Noong July 16, B went to the house of A to get the dog from A. Makukuha niya? Of course. However, B noticed the condition of the dog. Sabi niyo, A, hey, is that the dog? that uh, you promised to give to me. Of course, I only have one dog. Eh, ba't ganyan yung breast niya, yung source of life? Eh, bakit parang sumasayad na sa lupa? Eh, kasi nang anak. Ha? Ah, Ilan ang anak? Isa lang. Kaya ang ganda nung naging anak. Ah, okay. Nasa na? Wala na. I sold the puppy. Ah, curious lang ako. Kailan ang anak? May 30. Ha? Huh? Mari, bakit mo binenta? Bakit? Ano ba pangako ko sa'yo? Aso, di ba? Mare, dapat pati papi. Mare, sobra ka naman. I promise to give to you my dog. Never did I say I always also will give to you the papi. Eh, Mare, kasi may 30 pinanganak yan eh. O ngayon, nilabas ni B ang civil code. <laughs> Mare, without offense ah, pwede pakibasa mo. 11.64. Naku, pagkabasa ni, ni A, ay, Mare, ikaw pala dapat ang may karapatan niyo, the creditor, sabi ko sa'yo, Mare. Eh, sorry. Hindi ko alam eh. Kung alam ko, di, hindi ko ibebenta. O, sabi naman uli ni B, Mare, pakibasa ang Article 3. <laughs> Ignorance of the law. <laughs> Mare, pasensya na. But to show good faith, when I sold the puppy to wife, I now ask you to go to Y 
get the puppy from Y, I will return the purchase price to Y. So B went to Y to get the puppy from Y. Pwede? No. When Y bought it in good faith and there is delivery to Y, Y became the owner of the property. Delivery to a buyer in good faith transfers title. Follow? Why is the right of B ignored? No. Because the right of B over the puppy is only a personal right. A right enforceable only between the parties. It will be different if the personal right was converted to a real right enforceable against the whole world. It will be real right if the object is delivered. Eh, walang delivery kay B. Ano remedy ni B? To get the price of the puppy from A. Because between A and B, B has the right. Loud and clear. Kapag ang kabayong ito ay manganganak, may call. Titingnan mo rin, nung ipanganak ba siya, may obligation na to deliver o wala pa. At kailan magkakaroon ng obligation to deliver pag dumating yung period. Hanggat hindi dumadating yung period, walang obligation to deliver. Kaya if this cult was born before the arrival of the period of June 12, 2017, the right belongs to the debtor A. But if this is born on or after the arrival of the period on June 12, 2017, the right belongs to C. Loud and clear? In here, we are not to look for period. We are not to look for condition. Adal shy pure or simple obligation, the right to the fruits will arise immediately upon perfection. And the contract here is perfected today. And therefore, if this cut will have of springs. Siyempre, mga anak din yan. Nagkaroon siya ng kitten. Sampu ang inilabas. Pag sampu ang naging anak ng pusa, kitten. Pag siyam lang, kinay. No. Adal, wala tayong titing ng petsa. Bakit? Di ba tama? Kaya nga kitten eh. Di wala tayong titing ng petsa, kundi ang perfection ng contract, if this kitten or fr fruits will be there. So born on or after November 21 today, yan ang right na kay B. Was it illustrated clearly? A is to give her only car to B. B demands delivery. A delivers the car. But when A was about to leave, B is calling A's attention. Mare! May nakalimutan ka. Mare yan yun. Yung susi ng kotse, hinihingi din ni B. Mare, I think, it's too much. <laughs> Our agreement requires me to give to you my car. Never did I agree to give to you also the keys. Alam mo, ito na lang ang remembrance sa akin ng kotse niyan, and yet kukunin mo pa. Hindi pwede. Can be demand for the delivery of the, of, of the keys. My dear, ito ay determinate object, correct? And so necessarily, meron siyang baka, accessions and accessories. Sabi ng code, ito daw kasama even if not mentioned. So kung ayaw mo siyang isama, dapat pag-usapan. Ano accessions? These are the things added or incorporated for better use. Accessories as the word suggests, to embellish, to make the thing look more beautiful. Pampaganda. Yun nga lang, my dear. There is only a very thin line that separates. And sometimes, the nature of the thing 
may be affected by the intention of the parties thereto. Bakit ka maglalagay sa kotse mo ng spoiler o yung mga parang sa likod ay may parang may buntot? Nalala mo yun? Makikita mo nakita kang ganun kotse? May mga nilalagay sila, correct? Tama. Ba't kaya nila nilalagyan ng to make the car look beautiful? Tama? Ba't tanungin mo mga engineers? Hindi siya lang to make the car look beautiful. So, hindi lang siya to embellish the car. Sabi ng nakausap ko, at ano bakit po ang eroplano? Pwede namang yung dulo, bilog na lang. Bakit nilalagyan po ng ganun sa taas? Bakit may ang tawag doon? Bakit parang may pakpapwit ang yung eroplano? May dulo. At bakit may pakpak? Tinan niyo po. Di ba kayo nagtataka? Taka, tingnan niyo yung ibon pag lumilipad. Ang ibon, putulan mo ng, bu ng buntot parang mas mabagal lumipad. Kailangan po mahaba eh. Kasi po, pag lipad niya, yung lalo yung eroplano nasa ground, for it to easily take off, there should be a tail and a wing to help it fight the wind. Para yung wind, instead na haharangan siya, nabibiyak yung wind eh. Kailangan siyang umaangat kagad. So, for better use. Kagaya din po ng tin. Bakit nagpapatin? Probably to others, to minimize the entry of it. Di ba? But to others, to make the car look more beautiful. Nakukuha niyo? Nakukuha? Di ba? Minsan yung nature is affected by intention. Pinapalitan mo yung nature eh. Tignan mo kahit wiper nga eh. Yung iba yung wiper, ganun lang yun. Tara? Para pakinabangan mo pag umuulan. Yung iba decorative. Yung iba nga pinapalitan mismo yung steering wheel eh. Correct? May nakikita ako ganyang kalaking steering May nagmamaneo sa school. Nung may car show. Ganyan kalaki lang yung steering wheel. Oh. Ako, paano kaya magmaneho to? Tapos yung likod niya, wala nang upuan. Puro mga parang musical instruments yung nandun. Tapos yung isa, pinapasayo pa yung kotse niya. Oh. Sabi ko, ano kaya ginagawa nitong mga to? Bakit gumaganong-ganon yung kotse? Ah, siguro pagka... Uh, nag-date siya, tinaantok siya, eh, doon na lang, para kahit gumagalaw na ganun, akala yung kotse lang. So, sometimes, eh, kasi may gumawa niyan sa Meroas Boulevard na uli. Oh, hindi kasi marunong eh. It's a, it is an SUV sa malaki. Heavily tinted. So, from the outside, di mo makikita yung people inside. Nakapark siya naka patay yung engine. And then, nagulat yung patrol car kasi the car is parang moving ng... ng baka pa naka-stationary siya, pero gumagalaw siya. So, naalala na yung patrol, yung patrol officers, baka yung nagmamaneo, inatake sa puso. Correct? Baka kinatok nila yung bintana. Eh, siyempre, natakot siguro dalawang estudyante yung occupants eh. Nagulat siguro, binuksan yung bintana. Totally naked yung dalawa. Huli sila. Oh. Eh kasi hindi niya dapat gawin doon. Eh minsan yung iba kwan masyadong bold, di ba? Masyadong kwan. Gusto mag-experiment siguro, nahuli. Hindi marunong eh. Eh gagawa pala kayo nun, dapat may ready kang excuse. Oh. Nakita kayo, o ba't kayo humutubad? Naiinitan po kami, pinatay namin yung engine eh. Eh, bakit tumukugayin sa sakyan? Nagpa-pipe-pipe po. Ayan, pipe-pipe tayo. Ugayin mo gano'n, di ba? Hindi marunong. Okay? Gayahin mo yung isa. <laughs> Nakawala. Ang galing, galing mo. Pag Mamaya, at pagaling natin doon sa topic niya. Pero, naalala ko talaga. Nagtapon ng basura. Eh, nakalagay na, bawal magtapon. Eh, yung palang tagabantag, nakatago. Imbis na prevention ang gusto niya, ang gusto niya, arrest. Di ba? Katago. Tinitinan niya kung may magtatapon. No? Eh, yung isa. May dala-dala siyang basura niya, nasa plastic bag. Nilagay niya doon. Eh, bawal nga doon. Nilagay niya doon. Pagbaba niya ganyan, aalis siya. Labas yung dalawa. Huli siya. Huli ka! 
nagtatapong ka ng basura. Oy, sumagot ka agad. Hindi ko basura. Kitang-kita namin, tinapon mo. Kinuha ko yan sa kalsada. May nag-iwan doon. Pag nasa kasaan yan, kakalat. Correct? Nagmagandang loob lang ako eh. Di balik ko. Kinuha mo. <laughs> Dito yan eh. O yan. Pinala niya sa kalsada. O yan. Nagmagandang loob ako. Ulihin mo ako. Sabay alis. <laughs> yan yung mga tao. Bago gumawa ng mali, may nakahandang? <laughs> Tama-tama dumadano, kaya <laughs> sabi ko, hindi ko kaya yung style mo, di ba? Eh, misang makikinig ka rin sa kanya, matututunan ka sa tao, eh. Talaga mong ibalik nga. <laughs> hindi daw kanya. <laughs> Mga bagay, maaaring totoo nga, di ba? Kasi di ba naman nakita yung, yung before that, eh. <laughs> Now, sa so maliwanag tayo, ha? Si A naman ang may-ari ng lupang ito. A owns. At pwede niyang ibebenta or pwede niyang ibibigay lang. So, pwedeng reciprocal, pwedeng unilateral. Siya may ari ng lupa. At ang lupa, siya may boundaries. Correct? Correct. At ang isang side ng lupa ay ito. Hindi ito lupa. Ito ay river. Pwede bang ang isang side ng lupa ay river? Will you agree with me? Pag ang water ng river gumagalaw, may dalang soil? Tama? Yes. At Minsan, ang movement ng water, very gradual. At dahil may dalas ang soil, at gradual ang movement ng water, some of the soil may now be attached to this land. Correct? So, nagkaroon siya ng accumulation ng soil attached to this land, up to this part. Naging lupa na rin. Ang tawag dito sa gradual deposit of soil, increasing the area of the land, is alluvium. Correct? And A sells this land or gives this land. Of course, sa do sa paper na ginawa nila, eto lang ang nakasulat na boundary. Kasi hindi naman ito kasama sa titulo, correct? Aso, ito was not mentioned. If this is not mentioned in the contract, who will now be the owner of this part? Kay A parin bayad o sa nakabile? O sa bibig, bibig, uh, bibigyan. May here. Alluvium is an accession. At an accession yan, included yan, if not mentioned. What is the opposite of alluvium? Ang pagliit ng lupa due to erosion or due to landslide. Kapag lumait yan, ang tawag yan, abulsion. Ngayon, minsan naman, ang nangyayari, hindi na fulfill ang obligation ka nagkakaroon tuloy ng problema. Pinagbabayad ng damages. At syempre, may pinanggagalingan muna yan at may iba't ibang klase yan. Ang award for damage pwedeng magumpisa dahil sa fraud. Sa Tagalog, ang fraud ay ano? Pangalawa, kapabayaan. Pangatlo, at pang-apat ay isa-isayin muna natin. Doon muna tayo sa fraud. Sa Tagalog, panloloko. Tsaka na natin pag-uusapan ng sino yung fraud pagdating sa vices of consent. Lagyan lang muna natin ng idea ano ang fraud. Sa Latin, ano ang fraud? Dolo. Correct? Matanong nga kita, bakit kinakailangan manloko? Sagot. Bakit mo kinakailangan manloko? Una, kasi pag hindi mo niloko, hindi papaya. Correct? Correct. Kaya gagamitan mo siya ng mga pananalita na makoconvince mo siya na pumayag. Di ba? So, fraud is used to obtain consent. Correct? Correct. So, the cause 
of that consent is fraud. So, meron tayong ano? Causal fraud. Na sa Latin ay dolo causante. Ang ibig sabihin, fraud is committed to get consent. So, necessarily, there is fraud before there is meeting of minds. Ang tanong, pwede rin bang matapos kang pumayag at saka ka lolokohin? So, hindi ka niloko para pumayag. Niloko ka para ma-fulfill niya yung obligation niya. So, pwede magkaroon tayo na incidental fraud. Dolo Incidente Dito Fraud Is committed in order To fulfill An already existing Obligation So here, meeting of minds Came first before fraud Is employed Remedy Available Kung dolo causante, can you ask for annulment or rescission of the contract and at the same time ask for damages? Kapag insidente, pwede ka bang humingi ng annulment ng contract? Hindi. Only for and therefore, we conclude. If you are guilty of fraud, expect you will be made liable for damages regardless of the fraud committed but not for annulment it will depend on what kind of fraud lagyan natin ng illustration para hindi mahirap unawain si Ms. A offers to sell to Ms. B a ring which according to her is studded with diamond and to make it easier for her to convince B that indeed it is studded with diamond A brought with her A an expert and the selling price is 100,000 Ang sabi ni A kay B, Madam, bibilin mo ba yan? Bakit? Kasi ako sana bibilin yan. Ang offer ko kay A, 150,000. Kasi alam ko may bibenta ko yan easily for 200. Kung papayagan niya ako na sa end of the month na magbayad, sa November 30. Kaya kung bibilin mo yan, madam, for 100, can we sign an agreement, or can we agree that on November 30, you will resell it to me for 150? Bakit? Ba't mo bibilin ng 150? Kasi ang fair market value niyan, eh, easily 200,000. E nagtataka nga ako ba't niya ibibenta ng 100 lang eh. Sabi naman eh, eh kasi kailangan-kailangan ko ng pera. o operahan ako at ikakasal. O. Eh siyempre, kailangan ko maoperahan kagad. At yung matitira ay pamgagasos namin sa kasal. Eh lang alam sa November 30 pa eh, naka-schedule na ako na pa-oper sa doktor sa November 24. O. Kaya nagmamadali ako eh. Sabi na iisip na inibi. If I buy this for 100, imagine in November 30, my 100 will be 150. Aba, my money will not earn 50,000 over a nine-day period. Tama? Sabi niya. Alam mo eh, sige na. Pero nang nangihinayang man ako kasi sayang naman 200 palagi ang nakalagyan ko. Sige. I am willing to resell this to you for 150. I will buy. Okay? 
Siyempre, yung ganong representation ni E will now make B think that this is a good buy. Correct? So, B buys. And B pays. Then, A gives the ring to B. Follow? At si B, masayang masaya. Sabi pa sa husband niya, si Tat, sa November 30, yung 100 natin, 150 na. O, paano magyari yun? <laughs> Itong sing-sing na to. 150 ito sa November 30. Here comes November 30. There is no E. Bakit walang E? Wala talaga. Modus operandi lang ni A at ni E. Nasabi ni B, okay lang. Tapos na yung November 30, oh. E eh, dumating ang December, so magpapas ko. Sabi ng husband, Sita, magkwan tayo. Mamili na tayo. Eh, wala tayong pera, binili ko. Ay, saan lamang muna yan? Dinala ni E, ay ni B, yung ring sa pawn shop. Sabi ng pawn shop, eh, sorry po. Wala po itong loanable value. At bakit? Hindi po ito diamond eh. Yan po ay bat of a glass. Na maganda lang po ang pagkakagawa kasi po ang diamond, pukpukin nyo man ng martilyo, hindi po madudurog. O ito ano, abay gusto nyo kumuha kayo kahit bato lang. Pukpukin nyo yan, madudurog yan. Anong value ng sing, -sing na to? 20 pesos po. Ayan. Laruan po ng bata, pwede. Ayan. 20 pesos lang, nabili mo ng 100,000. Was there fraud committed? Was the fraud done to induce B into buying? And therefore, can B run after A and E as for an almond and require them to pay damages? Dolo? Thank you. Fala? Tataya. <clears throat> Manonood ng sine ang mag-boyfriend. Misa ba may mag-boyfriend na nanonood ng sine? Yes. Tama? Sabi ni boyfriend, Si Tark, anong gusto mong baon natin sa movie house? Madalas ba may baon din? Pag nanonood kayo ng boyfriend, ano ba? may boyfriend ka ba? Wala, ikaw meron. May ano baon nyo? Hindi kayo, ah, hindi kayo nanonood ng sine. Ah, okay. Kayo nanonood? Wala. Ikaw, nanonood? Kayo nanonood? Hindi. Ito na. Wala kayong mga boyfriend? Wala. Wala. Sa lasal ba? Lasal kayo, di ba? Walang lalaki doon? Wala. Ah, wala na nga. Wala pala. Puro babae ba yun? Di ba kuya dyan? Di may lalaki dyan? Lasal ka, di ba? O, oh, ito. Hindi pa pala dyan ako. Di ba? Ha? Wala ba lalaki doon? Di ba lalaki ka? O, oh, lalaki o. Ha? Ay, kakalain mo yun. Kaya, nanonood kayo sino eh. Ano ba ang baon nyo? Hindi rin, hindi kayo nanonood. Sino ba may boyfriend dito? Ikaw may boyfriend ka, no? Wala, ikaw. Wala din. Ikaw. Ano kayo? Pang, ah... Wala lang. Ikaw, ikaw may boyfriend ka. May ex ka. Ah, may ex. Okay. Nanonood kayo sino dati? Hindi. Oh. Ano ba baon nyo? Ah? Jeep? Jeep? Anong jeep? Chips? Ano yung chips? Chips, di ba, sa sugalan yan? Uh, anong chips? Mga finger food? Ah, potato chips. Okay. <clears throat> Taman, may nagbabaon eh. Eh, sabi ni boyfriend, ano gusto mong baon natin? Eh, sabi ni girlfriend, ano ba yung baon natin nung nakaraan? Grapes. Ah. Uh, ah? Uh, Eh, walang pakialamanan. <laughs> eh, ikaw, chips. Eh, gusto mo nga, eh, sila nga, eh, fruit sila, eh, di ba? Oh, ayaw nila ng mga processed food. Oh, kaya, sabi ng babae, grapes. Oh, ano gusto mo yan? Apple na lang. Oh, say apple. So, B will go to S. As, as, uh, sidewalk vendor. Selling apples. Correct? So, sabi ni S, Ay, suke. Hindi naman siya suke. Correct? Bili ka na ng apples ko. Sabi ni boyfriend. Magkano isa? Mura lang. 10 pesos lang. 
Pwede ko bang piliin yung apple na bibili ko? Pwede. Can you choose the apples you're buying? Oh. Sige po, ilan po bibili nyo? Mga sampu. Oh, pinakialaman nyo na naman. Eh, malakas kumain eh. <laughs> so, S sells apples to B. Tama? At 10 pesos per apple. And S prepares the paper bag. B is choosing the apple. B gives the apple to S. S puts the apple here. Pwede ganon? Ikaw pipili. Di ba? Pili ka. Hawak ng seller yung nilalagyan. Tama? So, after getting an apple, titiri mo, okay, maganda. Binigay sa seller. Seller puts here the apple. Nasusunod mo yung facts. And, nung sampu na, B pays. And S gives the Bound to B. Contract is perfected. Meron tayong contract of sale. Perfected. Are you following? And later, nasa movie house na sila. Now po na sila. Si, A, si B, tinry na na ilagay yung uh, apples dun sa seat beside him. Ginan niya niya. Kaya lang, tinest niya muna. Nung inalis niya yung hand niya, automatically nag fold uli yung, yung seat, correct? Sabi niya, pag nilagay ko yung apple dito, baka malaglag. So, saan na lang kaya niya ilalagay yung apple? Nilagay niya sa lap niya. Pwede? Can you put that bag containing the apples on your lap? And almost one hour later, girlfriend wants to get an apple. And while watching, of course, the movie. She is now trying to get an apple. Correct? Pwede? Pwede. Bakit nakagano ng kamay? She is getting an apple. Eh, nung last time nanood sila, ang dala nila, ano nga? Grapes. Kaya yung kamay, hindi ganun, ganun lang. So, the hand gesture will depend on what you are to get. Correct. No. Kaya, bakit? Huwag kang magdadala ng aratilis, ha? Baka ganyan, baka gaganunin na lang niya. Correct? So, baka ganyan siya. And after getting one, anong gagawin ni girlfriend? Kinaga. And nagulat yung dalawa. The juice coming from the apple, too much, and the smell is totally different from the smell of an apple juice. Medyo hindi magandang amoy. At saka somewhat sticky. Nasyak ngayon si boyfriend. Bakit ang daming, ang daming katas? Ginawa ngayon ni boyfriend, nilabas yung cellphone. Di ba ibang cellphone may flashlight? And checks what the girlfriend is holding. The girlfriend is holding one big tomato. Hindi naman sila bumili ng tomato, correct? They bought apple. Alam by this, B checks the bag. Inside the bag are Two big tomatoes. The others are apples. Nam ilang apples? Ilang apples? Ah, kung kuha ka na ng board, mag-subtract lang, hindi ka marunong. Anong eight? Seven lang. Walang joke, ha? Sampu lang ang binili. May hawak na na isa. <laughs> kung naging tanong sa board yan, how many apples are there? <laughs> Binilugan yung eight. <laughs> Pwedeng magtanong ng ganyan. Nagtanong na nga dati sa fruits. Ang answer, juicy fruit eh. Correct? Oh. Which one is not a fruit of an obligation to give a determinating ando yung tatlo, yung nick. Natural, industrial, civil. Tinagdag yung juicy fruit. Oh. Ikaw, pito ah. Ay, walo ah. <laughs> pito lang po. Tanong. Did the seller commit fraud to induce B into buying? No. Was there already meeting of minds? Have they agreed on the object? Have they agreed on the price? Have they agreed on the quantity? When was fraud committed? When seller was fulfilling his obligation to deliver the object. Correct. And therefore can buyer ask for an almond? Only for 
Because there is only dollar. Thank you. Did I make the discussion clear? Let's have negligence. Pabubura ko lang.